Hello, everybody. The meatball catching side is ready. Welcome to the story of Ralph and the 400 pound meatball. Now, first, I would like to thank Ellen Essig for her marvelous generosity and forbearance in permi permitting us to work on this stage. I would also like to thank our mutual stage manager for um, being our mutual stage manager <laughs> and not watching me too closely. Um, that said, <clears throat> when we last saw Ralph, he was recovering from a squash ball injury to his, <laughs> do I have to say this? Yeah. To his naughty bits. <laughs> After obtaining opinions from Dr. Goldberg, renowned for his pioneering work with the Church of Scientology and Haiku Poetry, Dr. Mbongo, a world-renowned professor of traditional medicine and personal physician to two U.S. presidents, <laughs> and Dr. Chessmore, who performed so well under Dr. Poochmeyer that Ralph decided to continue with Dr. Chessmore's wine, candle, and massage therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Under Dr. Chessmore's caring hands, their relationship advanced beyond Ralph's sore naughty bits, which is where our story begins this evening. So sit back, relax, and see how the saga unfolds as Ralph prepares for Dr. Chessmore's next wine, candle, and massage treatment. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a moon. What the heck is this? Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball, quantity one. One Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball. What the heck is a Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball anyway? Why is it on my porch? <laughs> Perishable, frozen food. Keep below five degrees. <laughs> frozen food, keep below five degrees. It's 90 degrees outside today. <laughs> the heck is going on here? Weight, 400 pounds, 400 pounds, a 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball. Why is there a 400 pound frozen meatball on my porch? <laughs> hey, Nikki, it's Ralph Schwartz. Hey. I gotta talk to you about something. I got a problem. Good. What? I got you just as you and Janie were leaving the house for the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Just listen a moment. No, it's not about the fire. I replaced the curtains and repainted the bedroom. It's like it never happened, except for that stinky smoke smell. It look, it, anyway. Look, I gotta talk to you about something. I got a problem. My girlfriend's coming over tonight. Yeah, Monica, the same one that likes the candles. No, we don't plan on setting the house on fire again. Nikki, will you please let me speak? Nikki, she's coming over tonight, and I got this big box in front of my door. It says it's a Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball, and it's frozen, and it's 400 pounds. Right. 400 pounds, right, a 
400 pound frozen meatball. Nikki, Nikki, you knucklehead. How should I know why there's a 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's meatball on my porch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's it from? I, right, right, the shipping label. Nikki, the label's on the bottom and I can't see it. No, Nikki, I can't move it. The box weighs over 400 pounds. Well, that's what a 400 pound frozen meatball weighs, about 400 pounds. <laughs> Nikki, I can't move the friggin' thing, thing. I can't get in the house, so I can't get ready for Monica. Look, what, your other line? Uh, okay, uh, you, you'll call me back, right? R right, okay, bye. Knucklehead, just when I need him, gotta go. Betty forgets to call me back. Knucklehead! Hey, Ralphie! How's it hanging, buddy? Hey, 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 hey uh, you ain't planning no more fires in the bedroom this weekend, are you? <laughs> hey, it's a good thing for you I was working a late shift that night, and I was driving home this way. Otherwise, I never would have seen the flames. You just could have had a bad time with it. Yeah, Billy, I really appreciate what you did yeah, that you night. Yeah, you betcha, but... you betcha. I seen them flames charge right in that door, up the stairs, kicked in the bedroom door. Mm -hmm. What do I see, Ralph? You and his babe! Ooh! What do you call it there? The Inflagolato! <laughs> Ralph! And all them candles, Ralph! All them candles! No wonder the drapes caught fire! Billy Rice, I really appreciate what you yeah, did. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just about that, when I'm ready to do my little victory dance, you know, for pulling down the blinds and stopping out the fire and all that, I turn around, and what do I see? That babe got nothing on! Nothing! Nothing! You know, except the little nurse's cap and the stethoscopathy thing around her neck there. Ho <laughs> ho! Ralph! That's when I fell over and broke my wrist. <laughs> Billy, I really appreciate yeah. what you did. But I got another problem I'm dealing with right now. Billy, can you lend me a hand? Oh, that's funny, Ralph. That's real funny. On account I got one busted wrist, on account of you. If I go and break the other one, how am I gonna, I don't know, how am I gonna pee, Ralph? Huh? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Anything, what do you need, buddy? Well, Monica, the baby saw me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ralph, I gotta hand it to you. That babe was hot. And I do not mean on account of the fire. She was really hot. A little nurse's cap there and a stethoscopathy yeah. thing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, Monica likes to play nurse, and she's coming over to Now, wait, wait, wait. You are not planning to burn the house down again, are you? No, no. We're using those LED candles. Good. They flicker and all that, and they're not quite the same as well, the real Well, that's a good thing, because otherwise I would have had to call in for the late shift again. A very smart thing, the LED candles, Ralph. You know what we always say at work? Safety first. Anyway, look. Whoa. This box is blocking my door. And I can't get into my house. And Monica will be here in two hours. Can you help me move it? Yeah, I guess. Go over here. Yeah, I only got one good hand. So be careful. It's a little cold. Ready? Ready? One, one two, three. three. Look at her back. Ralph, what's in this box? It weighs a ton. Billy, you, you won't believe it, but it's a 400 pound meatball, and it's frozen. It's a 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's meatball. Mama Farina, who's you lucky guy? They're delicious, Ralph. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, we just had them last week at the meeting down at Union Hall. But you know, I gotta ask you, Ralph. I gotta ask you. Why would you order a 400 pound meatball? I mean, you do know they come in smaller sizes, right? You know, meatball sizes. Billy, I didn't order this thing. What? I've got no idea why it's here. I only know that I gotta get it away from my door so I can get in and get ready for Monica. <laughs> oh, wait, Billy, it's my cell phone. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at this thing. It's Nikki calling me back. Good. Hey, Nikki. Hey, thanks for calling me back. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. R right. Right. I gotta get this meatball box off my porch. Monica will be here in two hours. No, Nikki. No sense. Nikki? Hello? Nikki? Oh, shit. Cell phone went dead. 
Let me go through the window and call back my house phone. today, and then I went shopping at Nordstrom's. Oh, I found the most fabulous pair of Giuseppe Zanotti sneakers. Oh, they were on sale, $600, marked down from $950. Oh, they've got these glittery little laces, these pieces of little prints. Oh, oh, and, and, with the new sneakers, I just had to get a new pair of jeans and a top. Oh, they just made my whole week. Hey, what's this big box doing in front of your door? And, and what are all these spiny things sticking out of your door? Thorns! Oh. Friggin' cactus thorns! From a cactus! My knucklehead brother-in-law sends me a cactus for my birthday. Why couldn't he send me a begonia? Well, I like begonias. The purple ones. <laughs> It's Nikki for me. Yeah, my battery went dead. Right. She'll come over my house in two hours. Uh, no, we don't plan on setting the house on fire again. Yes, Nikki, LEDs this time. Yeah, yeah. No. Right, I know, safety first, right. We're playing doctor and nurse again. Oh, mm. you, you'll come over then. Oh, okay, great. Uh, try to get real soon, okay? You'll stop over on the way to the beach. Okay, thanks. You are a real buddy. No. Yeah. Right. Nikki, you knucklehead, will you shut up and get your ass over here? Right, bye! Knucklehead! <laughs> Hi, Craig. <laughs> it's a long story, and I'll tell it to you some other time. Right now, I got a big problem and maybe you can lend us a hand. Sure, Ralph, anything for a neighbor. What do you need? Maybe you can help us push this box away from my door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ralph, what's in the box? It's cold. <laughs> Craig, it's a frozen meatball. A what? A frozen Mama Farina's meatball. A 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's meatball. Oh, Ralph, aren't you the lucky one? I've had Mama Farina's meatballs, and they're great. Actually, we served them at Bernie's coming out party. Bernie had this sex change operation, came out as a woman. <laughs> you ever see a six foot five inch tall woman? <laughs> but, Ralph, why did you order a 400 pound one? You know, they come in smaller sizes. Like, like yeah, meatballs. yeah, we all know they come in smaller sizes. That's what I tried to tell him. Look, guys, I have no idea why this thing's here. I only know that I gotta get it off my porch because Monica's gonna be here in just over an hour. Monica, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> was she the same Monica that was here when your house caught yes, on fire? Yes, that's her. <laughs> I've known a lot of people are flaming, but not quite the same way as Monica. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Ralph, they have these LED candles. They look like real candles, but they, you know what I always say? Safety first. Right! <laughs> Safety first! Now let's everyone just shut up and let's try and move the friggin' meatball. Okay. 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 Just remember, I only got one good hand. Just help them out there. Right? Try on not three. to slip off. I will do it on oh, tree. Right? All right, ready? One, one two, two, three. Look at it. Oh, Jesus. Look at it. Oh, shit! Billy! Oh! Oh! Billy! Oh, oh, are you oh. okay? Oh. Y your hand is oh. hanging at a strange angle. It hurts like a bitch! Oh! Oh, oh! Oh my God! I think Billy's broken his wrist. No! No! Yes! Yeah, oh, help me. No! It can't be not a broken wrist. Oh I God! Easy! Easy! Oh Jesus! 
I know his wrist is broken because I saw it on ER last what? night. When a person breaks their wrist, it kind of flops around kind of funny like What you stop? with you. It hurts like a bitch and I got a ping. Oh, I can help in that department. <laughs> Call EMS fast. Okay, okay. It's broken. I think it's busted okay. and I got a ping. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Uh, this is Ralph Schwartz at 298 Kindercomac Road in Oradell. My friend was helping me move up 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's famous Italian meatball and he slipped and fell and broke his wrist. Yes, yes, a 400 pound frozen Mama Farina's meatball. <laughs> Oh, you've had them and you think they're really good. Oh, I didn't even miss fundraising. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks for sharing that with me. Uh, yes, I know they usually come in smaller sizes. Now, do you think we could just ship back to why I called you and get an ambulance here? Okay, right, bye. Knucklehead. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Billy, medics are on the way. Good, I need a Percocet or something. I, got, I really gotta pee. Mm -hmm. I think I hear Andrew silence. Oh, Ralph, you are so perceptive. <laughs> Hello, I am Michael Kowalski from Pascack Valley EMS. Oh, I'm very good. Hello, I am Mickey Kowalski from Pascack Valley EMS. Is there an echo? You are Mickey Kowalski, and you are also Mickey Kowalski? Yes, yes we, we are, are Mickey Kowalski. Kowalski. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the two of you are Mickey Kowalski. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. The two of you are Mickey Kowalski. Yes, yes. isn't that what we just said? said? Yes, but how could the two of you be one person? Why do you think we are one person? Why do you think we look like one person? I don't think you look like one person. It's just there are two of you. Exactly. We are glad you got that right. But why do you think we are one person? I don't think you're one person. It's just that you both said you're Mickey Kowalski. So? So how can the two of you be one person? We, we aren't one, one person. person. Didn't Did we just we agree on that before? <laughs> Mr. Swartz, have a seat and take a deep breath and tell us what your problem is. Yes. Over here. Do you have a psychiatrist or ophthalmologist that we should call? Are you on drugs? <laughs> it's okay to tell us we're not the police. And why do you have cactus thorns sticking out of your arm? <laughs> I am not on drugs. I'm not seeing a psychiatrist. My eyesight is okay. Never mind about the cactus thorns. And I am not the patient! He is! Thank you. All I want to know is how can the two of them be one person? Oh, I get it. You think we are one person because you think we have the same names. All right. He thinks we are one person just because we have the same names. Right. Mickey Kowalski and Mickey Kowalski. Aren't those the same names, right? No. What? No. I am Mickey Timajaz Kowalski, and he is my cousin, Mickey Kaswari Kowalski. Our fathers are brothers, our mothers are cousins, and we are named after the most famous hero in Poland. Mikolaj. Mickey. Tadjus. Mitzemillian. Tadjus. Kozhusko. Okay. Okay, yeah. I should have known that. Hey, yoo-hoo, over here. An accident victim, a patient. You ever heard of one of them? <laughs> Hello, come here. Okay, now down to business. How did this accident happen? Right, well, how did this accident happen? We were, we were just trying, trying to, to move this, this box here. here. What? Oh, Jesus. Like wow! Oh, oh, this thing <laughs> must weigh about 400 pounds! Look at the label. Oh, this is a box of Mama Farina's meatballs! Hey, these are very good! Oh, oh hey, these are the kind we always get at the EMS fundraiser! <gasps> right! Mama Farina's! <laughs> but it says that this box contains one 400-pound Mama Farina's meatball. Mr. Schwartz, why did you order one 400-pound meatball? Don't you know they usually come in smaller sizes? You, you know, know, like yet yeah, we all know they come in smaller sizes! Would you get away from the box and start treating me? <laughs> hey, aren't you the guy that we treated at the same address three weeks ago? Yeah. There was a small bedroom fire, and lots of candles, and whoa, and this babe! Oh, oh, the babe with the nurse's cap and the stethoscope, and that's all. Yeah, yeah. I knew this place and you guys look familiar. Yeah, that was us, that was us, right? 
Anyway, all right. Yes, sir. We do have our procedures. We need to know the complete details of this incident. If you are dissatisfied with the way we are managing this call, you can file a, a, a patient file number 8028. And please, get my name right, Mickey Kowalski. And get mine right too, Mickey Kowalski. Mickey Kowalski and Miss Mickey Kowalski, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, what's with the bus, Mr. Swartz? Look, guys, my girlfriend, the one from three weeks ago, with the big mm -hmm. She's coming over to my house tonight, and my friend Billy here, and Craig. Hello, boys. Billy, Craig, and I were trying to move this box away from my door, oh. so I get into my house and set up the candles. Candles! LED candles! Oh. Okay. Okay. Remember, safety first! Yes! LED candles and wine. So I need to get this thing off my porch because my girlfriend will be here in less than an hour. So, is there anything else you'd like to know? Now, if you can all just give it a try and then we could take Billy here to the Thank hospital. You. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Count me in. Man, with this, I gotta pee. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not my wrist. That's not my wrist. Sure. Right, we can get this. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna give it a good shot. Ready? One, two, 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 three. <laughs> Come on, that's it. We got it. Go, 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 go. Thank you.